at Brown City, wrapping things up with the game between Carsonville, Port Sanilac, and Brown City. And Carsonville came on the road, started out hot in that first quarter of play, taking a nine to nothing lead before Brown City really got back into the game in the second quarter, and it was just a three point lead at the half. But Carsonville, Port Sanilac came out on fire in the third, thanks in large part to Hayden Adams. His team leading 23 points really guided this Tigers team to victory here tonight. And they blew it open in the fourth quarter and take it by a final score of 66 to 44. So Carsonville moves to 4-0 on the season. Brown City falls to 5-2. Great game here in Brown City. And welcome back to Clawson High School. Dave Zorin with you one last time for what was really a day at the races for the Stallions as the horses uh, took off in that first quarter and the horses never stopped running. The Stallions just uh, never looked back as they had too many horses on the court for the Trojans to keep up with. Deja Vance being uh, one of them and she had 16 points to lead all scorers and a great job uh, she had and uh, uh, great teamwork really by the uh, Stallions defensively. Uh, I know that uh, Deja had 16 points, and uh, uh, we had uh, uh, some uh, great play by Tromley, who had 15 points as well uh, for the Stallions. But not only offensively, but defensively, the press they put on the Trojans was just too much. Too many steals. Uh, Deja Vance with, uh, uh, it had to be close to uh, uh, double figures in steals tonight. Just remarkable play defensively. And those steals turned into extra points for the Stallions. On the other side, uh, we uh, took uh, Ali Costin for uh, the Trojans. 11 points for her. She did get in double figures, and good for her. She deserved it, working hard underneath. And uh, the Stallions did make them work hard. Stallions move on now. They are undefeated 5-0 and oh on the season, and uh, the Trojans drop to 2-3. and three. Welcome back to Brighton High School. We just had a great match between Battle Creek Lakeview and Brighton High School. The key matches that we identified earlier proved to be the key matches of the night. If you remember, we had uh, Matt Moody from Brighton against Alex Baltang from Battle Creek Lakeview at 112. That match went into overtime, and Baltang won it. Very interesting match, very well wrestled, good tight match. And then at 119, Jack Pizzo from Brighton defeated Brandon Williams six to one. Another key match that brought Brighton back into the team scoring. And then at 152, this was probably one of the premier matches of the night. We had Aaron Calderon against Jake Baker from Battle Creek uh, Lakeview. Aaron Calderon from Brighton. He defeated Baker, who was undefeated. Jake Baker was 18-0 coming in tonight, and Aaron Calderon defeated him 6-1, and that proved to be a key match in the team scoring as well. It was an exciting match, even though the score doesn't show it. It was a tight team match all the way up through. All the matches were very tight. They were very good matches. We had a lot of real experienced wrestlers wrestling tonight. It was just an exciting night to be in Brighton at Brighton High School for the Manual P View Memorial Wrestling Team Tournament tonight. <laughs> Pat, let's take a look at the game highlights first of all. And even though Catholic Central got out uh, really dominating in the offensive end, it was this uh, goal here by Joey Russo that got things started on a tip. Right, and it was on a power play. And I know that in talking to Mike, they were, they were struggling to score, and this game sort of turned it around for them. How about that? Just two minutes and 19 seconds later, Corey Seichel finds the back of the net to make it 2 nothing. That's the way the first period would end. And Trenton would actually start the second period down Five to three, but here's a nice breakaway opportunity here right off of that penalty kill. And you see walking right in there was uh, Andrew Sawyer for the right, goal. Right, came right out of the penalty box and picked up the pass and went right in on the goaler and put it past him. It was three nothing at that point. The next goal would come at the 10-41 mark. As, uh, Cunningham did Cunningham. a great job coming off the, uh, the cycle down low, uncovered, popped it in the net. And this was maybe the strange one. Not quite on the rebound. Off the side of the net, Andrew Lindsay finds the back of the net. And then, uh, well, well, down but not out. Right, and, and that was the only opportunity that they had where Watala did not control 
Fuck. 